for the longest time, I've been trying to figure out how I monitor services and get them restarted if they're not working. I think I've come up with something called MonitorD. It's, it's in the ports package uh, system. Let's see if that's what I need. Okay, so I'm logged into my um, FreeBSD box. I'm in user local. No, I'm not. I'm not there at all. I'm in user ports, sysutils, monitor D. Let's have a look at it and see if this is actually what I want. So let's have a look at the package message, uh, the package description. This port allows one to monitor other standalone services and automatically restart them if they are accidentally and unwittingly terminated or crash either because of instability or a DOS attack. It simplifies a task capable of being performed by cron, but not requiring custom scripts to be written for each service being monitored. Yeah, this, this sounds like what I want. So let's get it installed and, and see if that really is the case. So make, install, and then clean. Okay, that was nice and easy. All right, it says there we need procfs. Now I've got procfs already set on this box, so I don't need to worry about that. But in case you don't know, it is simply fs tab and that line at the bottom. It's really that simple. So proc forward slash proc procfs rw means read write options are zero and zero. So that's all we need in there. So let's go to user local etc and I've already populated the configuration file for this. So you need a, an email and an SMTP server and I've populated a few of the services that I want managed and I'm going to test this out with CAMAV. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to work for me. I don't know if it's going to work full stop, but we're going to give it a go. Anyway, so it's asking who to run the, the check as, whether it's an automatic one and whether it's send alerts and the number is for the delay before it starts the, the service. So we're going to try, uh, what did I say, Claire Mahiv. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to try. Yeah, we are. Well, we we're going to try Claire Mahiv because Jenkins is running something at the moment. So we need to come out of there. Feel free to populate your services like this. Like I said, I, again, I do not know if this is going to work how I want it to work. This is my test. So let's go into rc.d and have a look at the script and it will tell us what we need. There we go. Monitor D enable. Yes. So let's put that into our rc.conf uh, software settings all the way down and we'll just bung it at the bottom. Bung it at the bottom. All right. So let's start it. Well, that's interesting. What just happened there? <laughs> all right. So let's have a look at our minus a D script or config file. And it, I guess it wants the bits at the end then. That's fine. And lastly, right, I'm going to comment all of these out apart from the one that I want for now. Should, probably should have done that before. That's the one I want. Well, that's interesting. Good. It's running. It is actually running. Right. Now I'm going to use screen for this and see what happens. Yeah, there's no running screen. Right, so I'm going to tail var log all, and I'm going to stop MAV. Ah, I've made a mistake. It's underscore for that. Yeah, I didn't put underscore. Right, let's restart monitor. Oh dear, it's going so well today. Let's see if it is actually started. It is. Excellent. Right, like I said, I'm monitoring. Let's check that. Okay, didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. All right, so let's stop Clam AV. I just want to know what happens. If it starts it, brilliant. And we'll watch the log when that's stopped. It said it took about 20 seconds before it realizes. Don't let me down. Please don't let me down. Well, nothing's showing up in the log. I wonder if it's the wrong look at log I'm looking at. Uh, can I be? Okay, so it's stopped. I don't know if it's running. Yeah, I don't think that's worked. Hmm. <laughs> okay. 
What else can I try? Don't want to stop that. Stay there. I can try NGX. Let's try NGX and PHP FPM because I can stop them without it really being a problem. Okay. Right then. Um, let's see what to monitor, uh, what to read. Okay, it's not running. Monitor D is not running. Why is it not running? Interesting. Okay, so it don't look like that's working for some reason. I wonder if I've done something in here. It's just not starting. No! No! Interesting. Why is it not running? It was, and now it's not. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Back to the drawing board. I'm going to keep going so I find something that actually works how I want it to work. <laughs> Seriously, I am. Just a short one. <coughs> Are you using something that does this? And if anyone says they're using Daemon, I'm not going there. I want something that is extra. I, don't ask me why, I just do. I wanted supervisor, but it seems very complicated. I don't know. What am I doing wrong, guys? Let me know. Um, if you are using something, drop it in the comments. Let me know. Back to the drawing board. There are other things. There's one called Monit. I might try that, but that'll be in another video. Yeah, put a comment down there and let me know. For the time being. I'm leaving it there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. That's just mental. It was running and then it just stopped running. You can do this now. Run, Barry, run. I thought I was going to say a bit like my audio for a minute.